Hi everyone, if you're new here, my name is Jamie and I post videos every Sunday. So today I'm sharing some recommendations of places to eat in Melbourne and this time it's focused on date night and special occasion spots. Huge thank you and shout out to the viewer who suggested this video idea. And I will say there is a spectrum of restaurants in this video ranging from your more regular date night to extremely special occasions. So just bear that in mind. There's a spectrum of price points, but hopefully this video is helpful when you're thinking of spots for your next date night or your next celebration. Anyway, let's get into the video. Starting with my favorite ramen place in Melbourne, this is a Shun Ramen Bar, which is more of a casual date night spot. I've been here more times than I can count, and this evening I had the spicy udon, which is a spicy mince and egg in special fish broth. I'd also highly recommend the dry sauce ramen, especially the chashu sauce ramen, and if you can handle spice, make it spicy, as well as the tofu sauce ramen. So with any ramen order, you can order some sides like a mini curry or some gyoza. I'd also recommend the matcha soft serve with a black sesame cone. Now this restaurant is such a hidden gem. I never hear people talking about it and I don't know why because everything is on point. It's honestly such a perfect spot for a little date night or a little birthday celebration. Do you see that mood lighting? The ambiance was on point. Shout out to my friend Tracy for bringing us here. It was really the perfect place to celebrate our friend Beth's birthday. The service was also incredible. They were super friendly and gave us a lot of recommendations. And they started us off with some free mushroom shots. I know it sounds weird, but they were actually delicious. We got the Italian cured meats, the scallops and the burrata. And oh my God, what a strong start because everything was delicious. Half the table ordered some freshly shucked oysters served natural and we also got the king fish which was delicious. The combination with the apple, oh my god, it was so good. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry doing this voiceover. Anyway, we ordered the grass-fed tenderloin and the broccolini which was delicious on the side and of course we had to get the duck fat potatoes with rosemary and garlic. Yum! We had the tortellini with pumpkin and burnt butter and sage and amaretti. Oh my gosh, it was so yum. And we ended up staying for dessert and we had to get the tiramisu, which was honestly the best way to end the meal. Everything was so reasonably priced and I could not recommend this place more. SPQR in the CBD is a really cute spot for some pasta, some pizza and some drinks. It's a reliable spot that I keep coming back to. I really like their broccoli pizza as well as the pepperoni and the margarita. Okay, now we're up to the $3 signs and this is Marion Wine Bar on Gertrude Street. It's a perfect aesthetic for a little date night or a little celebration. First up, we had the tempura broccolini and the crudo with the yuzo kosho and pickled fennel. And we also had the beetroots dish, which was honestly a highlight. I will say on this evening, I enjoyed all of these entrees more than the actual main, which was the grilled pork chop. I think it really depends on the seasonal menu, but you might also be interested in their chef's seasonal menu, which is $85 per person, and they just choose their best dishes for you. So I found this restaurant while I was scrolling through Instagram. This is Solaris by Chef David and Q. The vibe was really hip and the music was so good. It was definitely a unique aesthetic that I hadn't come across before. So this evening we went with the degustation menu which was $160 per person. So we had the multigrain sourdough bread and the truffle butter and we had the Sichuan kangaroo tartare. This dish had grape seed, bottle seed, dried lemon myrtle, anise, macadamia roast, yuzu and saltbush. 
Their next dish was complimentary and not on the menu, so I could barely tell you what was in it. As you can tell, this menu was incredibly unique and every dish was just mind-blowing. The attention to detail was crazy. The next dish had butternut pumpkin, Korean chili, kimchi, grape seed, shio kombu, yuzu, dry white wine, and dashi kombu. The next dish had cod, cherry tomato, salmon caviar, lychee bubble, and avocado puree. The next dish was duck two ways, so there was Sichuan pepper, star anise, poached quince, and parsnip puree. And we had the triple cooked potatoes and the wild rice salad, which was probably the best salad I've had in my life. That was delicious. We had the Jade Tiger Abalone Tempura next with seasonal vegetables, seaweed, mixed nut puree, tempura sauce, and confetti. Now for dessert, we had the Tremella Crystal Jelly with white fungus, red tea jelly, yogurt flakes, and caramel sugar. We were so stuffed by the end of the night. I was very excited as I received a good food gift card as a present, so I decided to use it at Flower Drum Restaurant on Market Lane. I had never been there before, but I heard such good things, and I will say the decor is very fancy and the service was excellent. The first three dishes were my favorite and we got the Jade Tiger Abalone Crystal Noodles which was delicious and then we had the crispy garlic ribs and of course we had to get their Peking Duck which I think is one of their specialties. We got a clay pot chicken dish with a shot of Mao Thai wine and we got fried rice and sauteed seasonal vegetables and by the end of the meal we were too stuffed for dessert. We went on a double date to Hazel, which is on Flinders Lane, and it's definitely got a very fancy vibe. And I really like the open kitchen on the second floor, so you can see that it was right behind our table. We started off with some oysters, the charcuterie selection, and some bread, and we also ordered the scotch fillet. And we also had the pork chop and we had the heirloom beetroots as well as the pork chop. And we tried two different types of dessert and this meal was delicious. Now the next restaurant, Mina Mishima. If you've been in Melbourne, I'm sure you've heard people talk about it. My partner had been wanting to go to this place for no joke around five years. So we finally went and we went to the sushi bar where you're right in front of the chef as you can see for obakase which is a culinary experience led by the chef and I would suggest sitting at the bar if you are the type of person who would appreciate seeing the chef and the level of detail that goes into each dish. If that's not super important to you then you can definitely still sit in the dining room which is a cheaper experience. So I will say that even though our expectations were extremely, extremely high going in after all of the hype we heard about this place, our expectations were definitely met and that's saying a lot. This definitely ranks in the top 5 dining experiences I've ever had. It was honestly so memorable from the food to the chef cooking right in front as well as the service. Like, I could not fault any part of the experience and that's saying something. So as I mentioned, we went for the omakase menu. So they just served us the dishes when it was ready. You also had the option of ordering more dishes if you wanted. So 
but that is a wrap for my current date night and special occasion recommendations. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really supports my channel. Thanks guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.